individually divided. Though I long for compassion from others as long as I got my iPod, I hide it. You see, I pass up a warm body and engage in conversation for a cold metal and 80 gigabytes. It's my business on the mainland. I desire to be an island. Because according to the liberal paradigm, I'm free to decide when. I want company or not, and these are historic times we're in. We're supposed to unite, but iPod attitudes keeps us in divided. Besides, it takes too much time to make an acquaintance, and I'm timeless. Consistently having less time, wondering where time went. Don't worry how mine spent. Mainly downloading songs and combining to put them on my playlist. So as I walk through the U of M's campus, I play it with my plugs in my ear. I cannot hear or learn sign language. It's dangerous. These cold actions are more warm bodies can cause a microwave effect of an internal cold war, which you can't see. The seams are seemingly lineless. Unperceivable in its unbelievable fineness. What the line is this a rhetorical ingeniousness that separates blackness from whiteness. Asians from Hispanics from those from the Pacific Islands. Brave ones from those with the high cowardice. The youngest from the oldest. The meek from the boldest. The warm hearted from those who have the coldest. The closed minds from those that are open. Just a whole list of different characteristics and people indulging in individual nonchalantness exposed by my poetic bluntness. Because we are trained to take our our pods to our, our homes. Pet and play with our, our dogs while simultaneously downloading our tunes on our, our phones. Surrounded by gadgets, but I alone. And I'm surprised with how no one sees that this concept of eyeness leaves us eyeless. You see, we walk around and say things like, he put the gun to his head and pulled the trigger. I didn't, but daily teasing and demeaning you might as well pull the trigger blindly. Walking around as if you got closed eyelids. And the powers that be push the concept of the individual because they know the only way to conquer a nation is to divide it. So they end divide you all so that no state is united. Categorized by racial, social, economical, and gender lines. And the plan is working because the country is on a destructive flight on autopilot. Flying at the highest height only to start nose diving. Now don't worry about mask or flotation devices because once we hit rock bottom, boom, no one survives. I once heard that tolerance and ignorance aids obliteration. So does I this. <laughs> <laughs>